Well, I pray that everyone is having a beautiful, blessed day, um, evening, night, whichever it may be. And I want to share a word with you in the Lord. I want to share a word with you. And as David said in 1 Samuel chapter 17, verse 46, he said, today the Lord will conquer you and I will kill you and cut off your head. And then I will give the dead body to the man, to the birds and the wild animals. And the whole world will know that there is a God in Israel and the, and Israel will learn that the Lord does not depend on weapons to fulfill his plans. He works without regards of human means. He will give you to us. And that was when David defeated Goliath. I want to tell you this, that if there's a Goliath uh, in your life, and I'm talking about the enemy trying to ride you, trying to give you problems, trying to defeat you, trying to come up against you, trying to do everything he can to knock you off of what God has called you to do. I want to tell you that you are a David, that you will defeat the Goliath today. As David said right here today, the Lord will conquer you and, and I will kill you and cut off your head. So today you will take down that Goliath. You will take him down in the name of Jesus. And I'm going to say this right here where it says, he says he works without regards to human means. So God does not need nobody to tell him how to do it or when to do it. God will do it at his own timing. God will do it in, in his power. And you know, when God does it in his power, there's nothing that can withstand him or nothing that can overtake him. So God has already defeated Satan. God has already defeated death. So we know that the enemy doesn't have anything coming. So whatever is in your life right now that is bothering you, rather it be a David or, or excuse me, rather it be a Goliath, rather it be a Jezebel or rather it be a witch or whether it is in the name of Jesus, we come up against it right now. And in the name of Jesus, God is going to defeat that that right now will leave. It will not overtake you. It will not come up against you. It will not defeat you. I'm telling you right now, speaking from a testimony that God is able. He is able. He, he will turn all kinds of tables. And that's not just me saying that. That is true. That is true point fact that God will bring you through anything you're going through right now in the name of Jesus. God has got you. Hang on. Hold on. God is coming. He may not come when we want him to, but he is an on-time God. He shows up right when we need him to, right when that money's about to run out, God will send you some other money, right when that, when that bill collector is trying to turn the lights off, God will send you not only for that bill, but also for another bill, right when the mortgage company says we can't give you a loan for that mortgage, God will have somebody else call you up to give you a, mo a mortgage, you understand what I'm saying, that, that God will get you through it, God will give you something else, when they try to repossess your car, God has another car for you, when they're trying to say that, uh, diagnose you with some some kind of sickness there goes God to show up as the doctor when they and tell you that you healed in the name of Jesus because he is healed by his stripes we are healed in the name of Jesus and when you're going through something else when that child is acting up or when that child gonna come home next day you know that prodigal son comes home in the name of Jesus so I'm telling you right now that the enemy wants you to make you feel like you've been defeated he wants to make you feel like all hope is lost but I'm telling you right now that God is the one who will get the last say so I'm telling you right now God will not let the enemy overtake you I'm speaking from testimony that God will not let it happen no he will not the enemy wants to make you think that he will but he will not David said right here today the Lord will conquer you and will cut and will kill you and cut off your head so you're going to take off Goliath's head today it's going to happen in the name of Jesus so that whatever is bothering you whatever is going on whatever is coming up against you God is saying right now that you will conquer it he is with you always he said he will never leave you nor forsake you believe it trust it depend on his word have faith Remember the woman that touched the hem of Jesus's garment? She said, if only I could touch, you've got to push. You've got to push through that crowd. You got to push through that, through that situation. Touch the hem of Jesus's garment. Understand to believe, have faith, have faith in God that he's going to bring you through that. He's not going to leave you nor forsake you. He's got you completely, totally all the way through it. 
continue to pray, press in, continue to press. Remember when they prayed and they prayed in the, in, in jail and all of a sudden the walls, there was an earthquake and all of a sudden the, the walls came, the door came down. I'm telling you right now that that door is coming down. That door is going to fall down. I'm telling you right now that Goliath is going to hit the ground with that little slingshot and that rock. Your faith, your faith is a slingshot. Your faith is that little rock that, that David hit Goliath with in the middle of his head. I'm telling you right now that that giant is going to fall. I'm telling you right now 